mountains built by night. An angel of the Lord came down and scared out of them that side. <laughs> <laughs> well, you thought that was Big Hoosie Carrera, sir, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. I'm not going to have my head. Go on fishing in a clyde off a govern. I would be going off my head if I thought I'd catch a fish, but you see, I am an intelligent big swine, you know. That is why I have not got a hook on the end of my line. <laughs> you understand me? That's a fact. I quite enjoy dangling my line in the water. Ever since I geed up the swally. <laughs> well, it was actually a, a question of hoving to, really, you know. I mean, when you're... When your liver explodes and re takes the ceiling of the local pub, I tend to think it's nature's way of telling you to cut down, you know. I mean, I'm exaggerating for comic effect, but you get my drift. So here I am, with a roll of twine and a couple of clay bags, trying to kid one of my tranquil big bastards. <laughs> I'll tell you this, boy. I tell you, I miss the drink. I miss the swallow. I miss the drink like buggeroony. <laughs> Mind you, it's still a bit of a novelty getting up in the morning, taking a pitch and no getting bevied. Oh, there again, I can smell, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, no. As, as long as there's, uh, as long as there's uh, nothing there to remind me, you know, I, I can handle being after this valley. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the bubbin here, I've got to screw the bubbin. I've got to set an example, you know. And my boy, my boy Gat is at is that awkward age for a man between 17 and 70. <laughs> I like to think of my cleaned up lifestyle and, and fatherly wisdom. I've managed to give him a healthy outlook on life, you know what I'm saying? Reasons to go on living by Gash Nesbitt. One, I am young. Two, I have a hand-painted T-shirt. Three, I have great cheekbones. Four, I've only got three reasons. <laughs> reasons to kill myself by that name. One, I am young. Two, it's Sunday. Three, I am alone. Four, I am alone. Five. I am alone. Six. Sod it. Five is enough for anybody. Deed. The man is spiritually deed. How can you say that about Rab just because he's geed up the drink? I'm not getting any shit. You take it to me. When Rab's liver's dried out, his life dried out, Tay. There you go. Three more pints. So, uh, you still at the hell raising then? Uh, you better believe it, my sneering friend. Because we're government. We were born to be wild. Aye. We hell raised all day yesterday with just an hour off for lunch. And we've hell raised all day again today with not even so much as a break for a cup of tea and a jammy dodger. We just fed up with the hell raising, didn't we, Dodie? We want to go home and watch Martin Chuzzlewit. Hey, can it with that Potter? Martin Chuzzlewit. You don't even understand Martin Chuzzlewit. That's why we like it. It's comforting to know there are cleverer bastards than us out there running things. There's some cleverer things growing out that carpet than you pair. Called maturity, Jamesy. Happens to us all. Ah, uh, well, no me, slipper puss. I would like it put on record that I, Jamesy Cotter, have out hell raised all my opponents and henceforth Demand that it be known that I be called King Waster of Govan. <laughs> Baron. My leash. Bring me the wasting glass. Not the wasting glass. No man drinks from the wasting glass. What is the wasting glass? <laughs> Rab's glass. No man has drunk from that glass for six full swallowing moons. Not since the night Big Rab's liver exploded. <laughs> a night that will live long in the memory of men with a short-term memory. What was I saying again? 
Well, I'm tired of living in a shadow of Rab's underachievement. The glass! I'm trying. Just bicker among yourselves, would you? This might take some time. Rab. Hi, Rab. Can I still part my arse here, though? Is it a restricted area? <laughs> <laughs> well, then, be that. Eh, uh, just a tighter for me, no, I'm still up as well, you know. Coming up, just as soon as I can remove Excalibur here. Oh, it is. Stand aside, Cor, stand aside. Heel! <laughs> You've not had much luck in your life, have you, Jamesy? Bastard! <laughs> I will! Cheerio, life! What can I say? It's been. Interesting. Run! Run for that! Run for that! Run for that! Run for that! Run for What's your name? Gash, what's yours? Just call me Mo. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Gash. Pleased to meet you, Mo. Mm. Mad drink. Mad drink. Steady the buff, Jamesy. You still got a full pint sitting there. <clears throat> I'm hell raising it. At least I've still got the nerve to drink. Not like some people that I know. Mere drink! Come on, Carter, out with you. Just what is it that's eating you these days? Maybe it's not so much what's eating Carter is. Who's eating Ella? <laughs> you like to say that again? Would you like to hear it again? I don't think so, somehow. Right, Dad. So it was fine to hear him. This is, um, Mo. Hey, uh... No way, eh? by God, they don't waste the syllables where you come from. Eh? Yeah, Dad, I was, uh, was going to ask you a favour. See, uh, Mo's a dear personal friend of mine. I've known her for ages. Oh, hey. Oh, well. Yeah, 20 minutes. <laughs> the thing is, Mr. Nesbitt, I had to do a runner from my flat because I couldn't meet the rent. Consequently, I could really do with a bed for the night. Is there. Anybody here? <laughs> Tell your man Mo can stay at your house tonight, sir. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Nesbitt. You're lovely. <laughs> well, I must say I'm surprised at you now. Surprised at myself, Rob. I must only be a new man for the waist up. <laughs> You're no surprised at us, though, eh, Rap? No, oh, the trickle down effect for Marie Claire hasn't reached you lot yet. <laughs> what were you caught? What about me? I never done nothing. Exactly. You got a champer like a two way aerial. You'd stick it in the roof and pick up beaver signals for Luxembourg. Slap. <laughs> Did you not hear that? Wasn't you hearing me? I know you caught her. If you are too trash to chat up women, and you're that desperate to assert your puny manhood that you're trying to drink out of my glass, then history tells me there can only be one reason. Do go on. Ellis chucked him out because she's fun in her toy bark. <laughs> Garbage. Is that true, Jamesy? Of course it's not true. I swear my mother's life. It is true, then. <laughs> Who's that, Jamesy? Ella's twin brother. <laughs> Hello, Rab. If you'll excuse me, I've got a bit of business to attend to. OK, smart-ass. What size is your chest? 44. Expanded. Oh. Well, my tits is a 46 C cup. <laughs> so that gives me seniority. Now, shove off. <laughs> hey, Ella. Who's this? Rab, I'll know Gilda Lily. 
This is Donny. We're no good friends. We just shag a lot. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't actually have a conversation with him. Watch. Donny. What day is it the day? Hey, Ella, what did we agree? Don't let us get too deep, all right? <laughs> hey, bartender. These two bezeeks. I'm not saying the guy's shelling a man, but I mean, if you could shut up his asshole, you'd start an avalanche, not good. <laughs> sure that's not too heavy for you, Mo? Oh, no. I like a thick soup. It's so, well, homely. Uh, 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 speaking of heavy, I'm just about to make a bed up for Mo. Maybe she could give me a wee handy. Who's going to blow in Mo's soup to keep it cool, though, eh? I'll give you something to blow on while you're away. Shut up, mate. Move it. You can ring her for the bedroom to make sure she's all right. I'll miss you. <laughs> heat. Just keep the heat. There's no need to give me a show up in front of Mo. Oh, sod, Mo. A few hours ago she was getting chased by a baseball bat. Oh, but no. No, she's the Queen of Nesbitt Castle, eh? That is a pretty nasty attitude to take to somebody who's defenceless. Defenceless? That? That is a scorpion in pop socks. You take it for easy. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Well, it didn't take long to get to the subtext, did it? What do you mean by that? You're jealous of the competition. Oh, you... Oh, thanks, Ma. Well, that told me all I needed to know. Look, I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry for hitting you. No matter how severely provoked a person should never, ever resort to violence. Exactly. Oh, and by the way, Ma, your soup's shite. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> well, Mary Doll. Try again. No, I am not all right. It's that wee mo. Oh, what about her? Keep your voice down. Look, I know you said that she could stay here, but call it women's intuition. There's just something about that lassie I don't trust. You mean the fact that she's 21 and good looking? No, don't you bloody start. Look, look, Mary. We're both getting older, right? But look in the bright side. In a couple of years' time, you'll have had your change of life. You'll be the same shape as me. We can share the same wife front. <laughs> Look, it's not that I'm jealous, but I just don't trust her. I've met her type before. She is a lazy, manipulative wee bitch, and she's going to end up with every man in this house wrapped around her pinky. Mrs. Elizabeth. What? I've dusted the furniture and made a start on the ironing. I'll do the vacuuming after we've had our tea. And the next course is out on the table. You and your man sit down and eat. Just get on. I'm not here. Hey, just one thing, Mo. What have you done with Screech? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, Flora, ain't she? Mo, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Will we slip or slobber, Mary Doll? <laughs> one night. Agreed, Rab. Aye, aye, aye. One night. Then our ass hits the pavement, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I could get a wee kiss for that, you know what I'm saying? You're late. Have you got the merchandise? Top quality. Stay off the app, hone to engineering perfection. Where is it? It's in this poke. You got the dough? Right uh, here. One pound sixty-three. Come on here. Count it if you like. One pound sixty-three? I've left me on the pub counter after buying a room. I say for better work, that show. It's brained and loaded. Don't take it out the bag. It's folks, look. <laughs> Folks, they have corkscrews in my heart, but no for long. 
Please, man. You sure? It's a big step, gosh. Hi, hey, it's ridiculous. All right. Button and playing about the suggestive sticky fingers that shouldn't be allowed. Calm down, Uncle Rab. It's only a beer advert. <laughs> Is that you getting twitchy again? No, I am not getting twitchy again. If there's one thing gets me twitchy again, it's people asking me if I'm getting twitchy again. Oh, well, you know what'll happen if you go back in the drink. I am not going back on the drink. Did I say I was going back on the drink? You're hardly going to tell her, are you? Oh, shut it, you! Because it'll be the divorce courts if you go back in the drink. What will you just give me a break here? You know, see, I've got enough on my plate. Just, just try to, to try to stop me, just try to stop me. Twitchy? Great! <laughs> I'm twitchy! I'm bloody twitchy! Stop! Leave him alone! Get off! Stop it! Right, scoot, covered. Behind you, Hammond! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go next door, Mo, where we can discuss this in peace. I want to speak to you. Listen, I, I, I don't want any arguments here, right? I don't need to argue. For you see, I am a rational person, unlike you. Are you trying to say I'm no rational? You listen here to me, lady. Even when I'm twitchy, I'm more rational than you. God, your ass. I've seen you in a migraine and PMT, and I'm still able to keep a better hold of myself than you. Hey, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Do you want to argue about it? Ah, I bloody well, do you want to argue about it? Hey, get started, you dumb bitch. Don't look at me like that, Mo. I realise I've only known you for two weeks. No. It's not that, Gash. Well, what? I thought you'd never ask. The answer is yes. I'll marry you. No! Marry you! You're going to be so happy. <sighs> This is not fair, lady. I just want you to know that. It's not bloody well fair. Look, all I said was I wanted a wee snifter before we went up to meet our future in-laws, all right? If you want to have a drink, you have a drink. But you know what'll happen if you do. What'll happen if you have a drink, Rab? I'm going to have a divorce for a chaser. <laughs> I need a drink, Rab. I'm worried about Gash. He's not ready yet for marriage, you know. He's too naive. Naive, naive. Naive's part of the contract. 
do you, dumb bastard, take the screaming bitch here to run rings on you for the rest of your life? Just can it, all right? Just can it with a bit of cutter. Listen, I'm not in this, mate. You'd hardly believe that her and I was once that romantic. We ran away to Gretna together to get married. Oh, really? At the world-famous oldie blacksmith shop. Blacksmith shop? He must have went through the rank door. I thought it was queer that fella in the butcher's apron, Marion. Aye, aye, aye. And mince makes lousy confetti. Come on, you. All right, lad. Come on. I haven't seen you in a while. Just see you and your tea break for hell raising. I'm teed up in hell raising. In fact, for the last two weeks, I have been on a profound spiritual quest up a govern library. I've studied Hinduism, Buddhism, Teoism. Sexism. <laughs> Do you mind it? This is my inner life you're rotting a piss you know. <laughs> so this uh, spiritual journey you've been on, how has it changed you? Well, oh, I don't want to drag you out your depth trap. Right. <laughs> now, surely... All the world's great philosophers are agreed in one thing. What's that? We're all off our heads. <laughs> Man, bastards. I mean, I'm paraphrasing, but basically, there's a message. So heartened by this information that I am as mad as the next man, I now propose to take affirmative action against those who have wronged me. Well, it'll be, a, it'll be a great comfort to you when you're up in the high court to know that you've got shopping her in your corner, eh? Maybe. Does he take legal aid? <laughs> oh, oh, children, how's oh, my way? Thank you. No! <laughs> no bother, Mary. Oh, no, 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 thanks, Jim. Oh, that's lovely. I'm sorry we can't offer you any tea, but we've run out. Hang it, he didn't bother, he bother. We haven't got milk or sugar either, so your luck's new, will you? Well, have I told you about cousin of our guest? It's the height of shite manners. Out! Veranda! But we haven't got a veranda. But what have you done with a veranda? <laughs> Dude, have you seen the veranda? Try the cupboard in the hall. <laughs> Look, out, children, out! Honestly. Aiden, where are you going with that floorboard? I'm bound to steal from a horse. Is that what that smell is? Get that thing to me. Don't you want out? Sorry, you were saying, Rob, about the stability of marriage. Oh, I, you're, you're all right, you're all right. I'm actually not very much a, an expert on that subject at the moment, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this seemed an appropriate moment to propose a wee toast. <laughs> My dad's an alky. So I've done you another bottle. Oh, goody. Yeah, that's the fun. Gosh, no! I've been meaning to tell you, Gosh. My daddy has a similar problem. Oh, eh. Uh, mother. Thanks, son. Mrs. Flaherty. Thanks, son. Do you miss it, Rob? Hey, oh, no, I told no, no, no. <laughs> Give me a bubble any day, you know. <laughs> For yourself, then. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I promised June faithfully when our marriage was dug meat, I'd never touch another drop. Isn't that right, darling? <laughs> and he's been as good as his word ever since, Mary. We've never been as happy, have we, Stag? No, we've never been so happy. <laughs> I suppose uh, you and Rab must feel the same way. Eh? Hey? Oh, oh, I, uh, oh, we've never been as happy either. Isn't that right, Rab? <laughs> Rab. Oh, yes, oh, of course. What joy we have known, eh? <laughs> I, I'll tell you, listen, if, if you two end up as happy as us four, you'll be doing all right, no. can eh? <laughs> If we end up like you four, we might as well call it off now. <laughs> <laughs> I love the energy of young people, don't you, Rap? Oh, 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 we're talking! Oh, 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 no! Uh, uh, the, the fun 
fundamental thing in any relationship is honesty. Am I right? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I always say. I mm. Let's hear it for honesty. Oh, oh, honesty. 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 honesty, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's usually about this time of night I don don around to the local cafe for a cappuccino. You care to join me, Ralph? Yeah, I thought I got my cappuccino. It's a point in place. The cappuccino arms. You know what I'm saying? I think you'd like it. Oh, the yeah, cappuccino. <laughs> hey, oh, I don't know. Hey. What do you think of yourself, Mary Hen? Well, all right, but don't take too long. Remember, we've arrangements for a wedding to discuss. Oh, that's all right. We're booked to church already. It's at three o'clock on Saturday. <laughs> Saturday? How <laughs> well, we'll just say short of the Yeah, in sit down in your arse. <laughs> any idea when Saturday is? Well, unless somebody's been buggering about it, it's usually the day after Friday, though. That doesn't leave us enough time to organise a stag night, never mind a wedding. A stag night? Cappuccinos and that. <laughs> Need drinking mind. Oh, no, 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 not at all, not at all, no, no. And uh, if the evening really catches fire on me, maybe open a wee box after each or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll have to consult with my future wife. What do you say, sweetheart? You can do it you like, Sonny. I'm going to have the bloody night of my life. <laughs> In a sensible way, of course. Well, then. Stagnant is, <laughs> and then marriage. Here I come. Told me. Told you what? How many affairs you've had in your married life? No many. In fact, you could probably count them in one horn. A one horn of what? Pontoon. <laughs> oh, you got to see it. Nobody shy. <laughs> what do you want, Cora? I want an explanation, Ella. What has he got that I have me? Start with a backbone. <laughs> Why don't you crawl back to the sump pit you used to? Her? My oozing days are over. From now on, I'm talking oozy! In the name of God! You just put that dick down nice and <laughs> in my bed. Stay where you are, Johnny. Yeah. I want an apology. Apology for what? For going behind my bed. Back with Tarzan and Pampers there. <laughs> I mean, you and me, we had something special between us. Aye, and it took three months for it to clear up. <laughs> You're the only one that can be cocked and ready to fire. You ask for this, Ella. You have your head. Oh, do something, Johnny. Hey, are you still looking for a light for your fag, Ella? What do you mean? <laughs> My brother's got one just like it on his coffee table. How much did you pay for it? One pound sixty-three. Would you have been better off buying a box of matches and setting fire to the bed? Still firing blanks, eh, James? What did she mean? I was going to be unhappy. Exactly unhappy. More bored, stiff. 
But we don't mean that in a negative kind of way, do we, Dodie? No. Boredom can be a vibrant, positive thing. Now drop your trousers, kid. I need to paint your wally cerise. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. It's in the contract. It's your stag night. You need to get your wally painted. <laughs> if you don't want to get your wally painted, don't get married. I mean, it occurs to me, if you're not ready to get your private organs defiled, then you're not ready for the responsibilities of marriage, kids. Uh, I see what you mean. I suppose you're right then, eh? Excuse me, I seem to have run out of coffee. I'll be shooting coffee through a funnel at your arse, enemy of smart ass. Is this trying to employ? Then we are too weak to trust ourselves with a drink, rap. Right? Because all these busted blokes, essential organs for less than that. You're all right, you're all right, you're all right. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Well, he's, 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 got a wee, he's got a wee bit of trouble in you, you know. You see, Jim, Jim's here as a, as a two-faced, spineless sleazebag <laughs> whose wife is currently being poked by a biped that has received a wee bit of a body spell from evolution. Consequently, he's a wee bit over-sensitive. Hey, that's no right, Jim. He's no right. Well, that's bad, look. Uh, you let me buy you a drink. Stick it up your ass. <laughs> uh, good on you, Rab. For a minute there, I thought you were going to undo all your good work and have a swally. Not at all, not at all, not it. As far as I'm concerned, you can throw that wishing glass in the bin. <laughs> I don't need it. No need I'm drinking a young help like you. <laughs> Excuse me, Stag, but I seem to have run out of alcohol. <laughs> Hold on. Mwah. Hold on. You take it by me, Hen. The most important thing in any marriage is honesty. Aye, as long as you can avoid being honest, you'll be all right, Hen. That wasn't exactly what I had in mind, Ella. Well, it's different for me, Mary. You're no married to a man with... The backbone of a grass snake and a personality you can scrape off your shoe. <laughs> your Rab's a, an honest, upright, decent individual. I mean, I'd rather sew up than sleep with him, but... That's what I'm doing. Does fuck I'm doing to sex, Ella? It is for me. What sort of affairs in my life wouldn't it be worth living? See, that's where we differ. I suppose so. You see, to me, affairs are just... Empty, sterile things. So what? James is empty and sterile. <laughs> These three affairs, you get the occasional shudder. What about you, Hayne? Do you think honesty's all it's cracked up to be? I don't know what the problem is. I mean, life's all about getting what you want, isn't it? If honesty gets you what you want, fine. If not, you lay your friggin' head off. <laughs> I hope I don't sound like I'm sitting on the fence. Oh, no, 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 Hen. Sounds more like you've ripped the fence up with the stanchions. <laughs> it's a nice name, Mo. Does Nabe ever call you Maureen? Why should they? My name's Polly. Polly? <laughs> Why? Because you... when I was away and my mummy said Mo was the only thing I used to say, I want Mo, give me Mo. Please, mummy, can I have... How do you fancy some rubber? Uh, just for a laugh, like. Eh, hey, so daft you two. I want to have a pre-marital pep talk with a boy here. Think a pep talk's pretty low on my personal agenda right now. Gonna get us up out of here! Eh, hey, this is supposed to be a pub, no Fifi's house of pain. <laughs> so daft, fools. This is going to come as a bit of a surprise to you, kid, right? But I've made mistakes in my life. No! <laughs> yes, but the one thing I've learned is never put all your emotional eggs in one basket. Just take life one lay as it comes, right? Because, see, marriage, I'll either make you or it'll break you. And what's it done for you? I mean, call me psychic, but I'd say you were definitely option two. He's pudging your wife. You got to put up with that. Pretty much. <laughs> OK, 
Hi, Donny. Can I buy you a drink? Aye, all right. I'm just going to go and give Mo a wedding present. Here. A wedding present? What is it? It's two tickets for dinner tonight at Victoria's. <gasps> oh, thanks very much. But I... Uh... Gash doesn't like nightclubs. Ah, well, they're no for Gash. They're for you and me. What'd you say? That's outrageous. I'm not gobsmacked. Tomorrow I'll be a married woman. Aye, well on your way to becoming one of them. <laughs> Hey, Rav, that's near last order. You just want another. <laughs> I thought coffee kept you awake. <laughs> Two physiques, Ella. Aye. All right, Ella, sweetheart. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing at all. In fact, I was just saying to the boys, it's nice to see Ella again, wasn't that, boys? No. <laughs> what you actually said was... It's nice to see Ella vertical again. <laughs> Bastard! Hey, <laughs> no, this is past. It's a man's right now to choose who squeezes his boys. Hey, <laughs> man, finished. You'll be the only man in government with three Adam's apples. <laughs> <laughs> A diversion. Quick, let's club him out and we'll paint his heart right <laughs> oh, Hey, we over. That's last of us. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go back to my place. Well, that's new, eh? In, in, in the old days, all I ever saw was pink elements, you know? Is that it, Bruce? No, sorry I'm late. <laughs> Time's getting on, Mrs. Nesbitt, and the guests haven't arrived yet. Oh, don't you worry. They'll be here any minute. They're coming back. Now, how should I put this? Government transport. <laughs> What's your hair now, look? <laughs> Just as well it's a wedding or you bastards will be in for a kicking. <laughs> Afternoon, Reverend. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Reverend. Yeah, Reverend. What's your nanny like? <laughs> sure <I'm saying. laughs> we really must be getting on, Mrs. Nesbitt. But yet the groom's father doesn't appear to be here yet. What am I saying? Where's the groom? Oh, don't you worry about him. He'll be here any minute. In fact, there he is now. Gosh. <laughs> Why don't you take that bag off your head? You have to. You are not giving me a shown up looking like that. <laughs> I'm showing up like that instead. <coughs> Come on, you move it. I'm front it. It's my wedding day. Front it. It's not how it looks, Reverend. There's a perfectly simple explanation. You see, he was set upon by two sadomasochists in East Stagnite, and they triple coated his shirt with Dulux. Many. Ah. <laughs> and the groom's father, Mrs. Nesbitt. Well, I suspect he'll be strewn lightly in his own piss somewhere. <laughs> Any other questions, then? Oh. Well, I'll just go and pump Mars in the velvet, if I may.
Hashtag. What? I woke up and I'm on top of the seat, bro. <laughs> Give you the top bunk. Who are you? I'm in the side bar. <laughs> I'm trying to call a taxi. What else? You're going to be late for that sodden wedding. <gasps> oh, the wedding. Oh, I love him. Really, I'll go apeshit. Ah, oh, there's a Celtic Rangers game on today. Oh, I can't get one anywhere. But don't worry, Rob. I'll, I'll think of something. <gasps> what? There's, there's something crawling in my leg. <laughs> oh, it's only a snake. <laughs> <laughs> That's an idea. Oh, I think I've solved my transport problem. <laughs> Hey, Mary, I've just left them. They're cappuccino out their faces. But don't you worry. When Stag turns up, I'll boot his fat arse all round these pews. <laughs> no offence, Reverend. Whilst we wait, we may like to lift up our hearts in song. <laughs> Oh, Auntie Mary, though. Do you think she's going to turn up? Of course she'll turn up. That's a terrible thing to say, you. Just shut it, you. Shut I hope you've got that ring in a safe place. Aye, so in my pinky. I was going to slip it round your tadger, but I'd been so big a fit that I slipped half. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aye, yeah. You sure I second idea? Have you got a better one? <laughs> There's only one thing, though, uh, do you know how to start a horse? Oh, I mean, if you don't have a key, you just rub two pair of wires again. Well, then, there's no show jumping schools in Govan, is there? Go! Go on, go! Just out of luck to get stuck with a deep horse. Oh, here we go. Oh, what do you mean, what do you mean? Hey, duck! Oh! Hell, it stopped. Rubbish, what you did here. I'll try the old day. Govern a rapo Indian way of starting the horse. <laughs> and what's that? I'll jab it up the arse with a ring to it. <laughs> Mrs. Nesbitt, I'm terribly sorry, but I can't wait much longer. I have another ceremony in a few minutes. I'm sorry, Reverend, really. I'll try and keep them occupied. Let us pray. Heavenly faith, we beseech thee, teach us tolerance for those who differ from us. the bee, Mary. God knows. Ella! Shh! Psst! Oh, Minister! Pal! Reverend! A wee minute, Mary. I've got some bad news. I'm warning you, Ella. She if he goes at the back of you, he's eternal flame shoved up your castle. You are... What? 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 God, I hate Screech. She'll turn up, eh? Sure, she'll turn up. Mind this, would you? I'm away for chips. <laughs> I'm hell of a sorry, Ella. Don't be sorry for me, Mary. 
I'm old enough to know better. But sorry for Gash. Are you sure you want me to read this? Why, no. Every gutless, two-faced rumour monger and governor can cock their own story. At least we'll start with the truth. Dear Ella, I am for the off. I know you always thought I was a shallow person, but in the words of my favourite philosopher, Bugs Bunny, <laughs> that's all, folks. I always like to leave things on an upbeat note. So here's another one. I have run off with Gash's fiance. Life's a breeze. If only you can learn to frisbee over other people's emotions. Ciao, Donny. I don't know what to say, Ella. Addy, chopped again. <laughs> Sorry to bother you now, you know, but uh, is there anywhere I can park my horse? <laughs> Are you sure he's wanting to go through with this? Aye. Aye. But it's just like, well, I've got a reason for talking myself. I was ditched to the old one, but you... Are you kidding? Do you can't want to go on living with a useless, lying, brow-beaten lump of kick like that, eh? <laughs> I reckon it's life to me, eh? Mary can evil miss blood sucking clone like her. Yes. Well, call me radical, but is there no an easier solution? Why don't you just divorce? <gasps> divorce? But we. We love each other. <laughs> love me. I. I will survive. <laughs> I know long as I know how to love. Oh, I know I'll stay alive. I just saw that. What's that do? What's that do? What? 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 I know how to love, I know how to be alive. I've got all my love to live, I've got all my life to live. That's my future. May as well go with the floor.